Danny, welcome to Going Live. Thank you. Pleasure to have you along. I noticed then, Rachel, you were mouthing the words to that scene. Yeah, I was. So how long <laughs> after you've done something can you still remember the lines? I don't know. It, would, it just comes back to me now and then, you know. But we did that in the audition. We did audition as well, scene. so that's quite a rehearsed scene. Yeah. Been it quite a few times. Yeah. Well, how long ago did you actually record that bit? Uh, when was that? March. 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 Yeah. Now we've got uh, Tender Love playing in the background, a little bit of sort of soft and gentle music, and that's and that's because Excellent. I really I've got to ask I've got to ask about about this um, immense amount of snogging that goes on. <laughs> yeah, um, it does, doesn't it? Do, are you enjoying this? Uh, is this is this a fun part? Is it something that you dread coming along? Well, I think that's supposed to the job. Really. Yeah, right, definitely. <laughs> you enjoy it. Well, we have to, don't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, and how many takes would you you know on an average uh, tent would you uh, would you to take to get it right. Two, mm. three, four, four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, are you are you in in danger of becoming um, uh, much more than than um, acting colleagues? Um, well, because you know, know you've got to know each other quite well. <laughs> <laughs> is yeah, there a possibility? Ask my girlfriend about that. Yeah, think, you, know? yeah, you have a Danny's girlfriend. Girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see. Have a say on okay, that. well, I think we'll get off that subject. Then, <laughs> you both went to the same stage academy, didn't you? Yes. Um, does does that help? Does that mean that you sort of work? together better you work in the same way you know what each other went through um yeah it gives yeah. you something to talk about teachers wise and things like that but we were like a few years different yeah i mean when i started danny had left so it was a little older yeah <laughs> what, yeah, sort of, was. what sort of stuff did you do there and does it stand you in good stead for for getting a part in in a series like grange um yeah it gives, yeah, it I think it gives you a good um, a good like a good basics it gives you all around teaching uh, training in um dance acting singing mm. Everything. Mm. It covers every aspect of, you know, what we're likely to come up with. Yeah. <laughs> so when it when it came to getting the part in Grange Hill, you found that you had learnt, you know, sort of a um, an immense amount from from your time at school. Because yeah, a lot of people would be watching this and think, you know, maybe in years to come, I would love to go on Grange Hill. I would love to do that. How would I go about it? Would it be a good idea to join um, a stage academy, that sort of thing? And you would think that would be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely. Found a help. Yeah. And then yeah. yeah it's found a help. So what do you do? when you get older because the problem with grain chill is it's not the sort of thing you can stay with forever mm -hmm. I mean everybody gets older everyone grows up and leaves school what are you mm -hmm. gonna do when you've got to go um, I don't know. <laughs> just, just wait for the work yeah. rely on your agents and yeah. wait for the work hopefully yeah, what about right. other ideas what sort of stuff would you like to do um, theatre love to do mm. theatre yeah I'd like to do a bit more theatre but different. films yeah. as well TV more yeah. films TV sort of stuff mm. and your 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 character is considerably younger than than you than what i am yeah did, did, did that did that cause any problems or do you find it quite easy um uh, i don't know um, once you get the uniform on it and look at yourself you think <laughs> i do look younger so yes yeah, you know you can get down to it and do it well there's loads of stuff to ask you we've uh, we've actually saved our questions from last week you may remember because this is a shorter program we're not actually taking calls this morning um, so we've saved calls. Remember we asked at the tail end of last week to phone in if you had a question you would like to put to these two. We'll see you a little bit later on in the morning. Mm -hmm. We will put those questions in Joe's and Grange Hill. And finally, it looks like it's come to a head. What a shot that was. Mm. Mm. Had you seen that before? No. It was the first no, time I haven't. Night. Is it quite gratifying when you, when you know how long it takes to get that kind of yeah. shot sorted out? Yeah, especially that, that, that the whole scene. Two days. Mm -hmm. the, the whole, whole right scene there took two days and that was hard to work, it was hot and dusty and everything. Yeah, mm. it was such a messed up day. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but we got the finished product in the end. It was good. Yeah, yeah. Well, it looked very good. What, this is a question for each of you now, each in turn. If you had the choice of any show that's on television at the moment, any programme, whether it's sitcom or soap, that you could be in next, what would it be? What would it be for you, Rachel? Only Fools on Horses. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Nice and the same for you yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. You want to do comedy next, you think? Well, that's what you'd like to do. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. I like him. Who knows? Let's go to the phones. Let's right. start off with uh, a phone question. Who's on line one? Hello. Hello, who's that? Katie Morgan. Katie, what's your question? Um, what sort of research went into Chrissy's pregnancy? Oh. Yeah, well, um, Sonia did actually, she talked to girls who had been in that situation so that did help with the uh the research into it but other than that you know it, i mean the the writers did a lot of research into it as well but i mean a, a lot did go into it they did talk to people 
you know, and went to advisory centres and things like that to actually get the storyline straight. And did she spend much time with um, young single mothers? Yeah, yeah, she did. To, to I mean, I remember story. having lunch with certain people just to talk about things and things like that. Yeah, she did. Yeah. yeah. Thanks very much for that question. Thanks. That was great. Now let's uh, take a question from the studio. Who's first? Is it uh, Emma? What would you Where's say? Emma? What would you say if your real best friend had a baby? What would I say? God, um, I don't know. It all, it all dep depends if she came to me and said, you know, I'd, I'd try and help her out as much as I could. But I w yeah, I'd be very try and be very supportive if I could do what I could to help her. How about you, Danny? If, if a mate of yours came up and said, yeah. expecting a, a baby, and um, yeah, well, if obviously they need you know someone to lean on, so you would you'd yeah. have to try and support them. Yeah. yeah. Be rational about it. Yeah. Let's go back to the phones now. Who's on line two? Nicola Goff. Nicola, what's your question? Hi, Danny. Hi. In a recent magazine, I read that you're 23. How easy is it for you to portray a schoolboy? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, it's different. It's different to do it. But like I said before, once you get the uniform on and... Um, you know, run through it, it comes back, it all comes back, because it's somewhere where I've been before, so I can, you know, relive it again. <laughs> Thanks for that, thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Let's have um, Kemi's question next. Where's Kemi? Right at the end, down here. Do you think the battle between St. Joseph's and Grange Hill portrays battles between schools in real life? Do you think, Dan? Um, yeah, I think it goes on. I think it does go on. I can remember when I was at school, there was a similar kind of thing. When mm -hmm. I was at stage school, there was a because we were at stage school, there's people another thought that, the yeah, there's, there is certain rivalries, I think, that do happen. What, there was another yeah. school or another stage another school? Another stage school, just around the corner. Mm. And what, <laughs> and, and they, they really, was similar gang warfare to what's going on in Grange Hill. It's a uniform yeah. thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, you know, I'm, I've got, I'm at this place and you're at that place, so, yeah, I think it happens. It does. Mm. In case you're worrying, that's not Dennis um, in the background going, ah, I'm worried if you could hear it, but we all can. No, no, it's, um, it's a little trolley being wheeled about <laughs> that needs oiling. There you are, that's it. That's Shot the very the trolley. trolley. <laughs> Quick shot of the trolley. Oh, you see? Hot off the mark there. Let's go back to the phones and see who's on line four. Hello? Hello, this is Kerry Roberts. Oh, hello, Kerry. Hi. What's your question? I've got a question for Danny. How do you feel about being the new boy in such an established cast? Um, well, that's a good question. Well, when I first started, that was, um, it was quite difficult going in because, like, everybody else was established they'd been working on it. But I knew a couple of people before I started, like Kelly George, Ray. I knew him quite well, and his dad, Tom, the nice geezer. <laughs> um, yeah, settling in was, the first few months were sort of, you know, a bit dodgy getting in, but then once you get into it, it's, you're part of it. So it's, you know, got into it quite well. Thanks yeah. for that question. Thank it, you. That's where I suppose it helps the fact that there are only really relatively few stage schools. Mm. And if you've been there, it's very likely that if you're working on a show like Grain Chill, you're going yeah, to know. Yeah, you get to know, yeah. you get to know that's the right. people. That's right. You've seen the same people on auditions. And yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's take a, another question now from um, Alana. Did you get any Valentine's? Yes, I did. I, I got a card um, on Thursday night. It was it actually, my name was round, and it was stuck to the front of her car. So I still don't know who it's from. And I got a rose yesterday. I don't know who that's from. You know who it's from. I know who that's from. Are you giving away any secrets? No. <laughs> <laughs> now, you look a bit miserable. Danny. Danny, you look a bit miserable. What happened? I didn't get any. Oh. Did you send any? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Sent a rose to my girlfriend. I feel really didn't. sorry for you. So if there's any belated ones, I'm, you know, I can't get this off waiting. the set. <laughs> oh, no, it's all stuck on too well. I can't get them off, but later on, okay, you can take home a bunch of excellent, these. Excellent, excellent. All right, Thank you because very you much didn't indeed. get any of them, and I feel a bit sorry <laughs> Thank for you. you. Okay, <laughs> let's go back to the phones, and we'll go to line five. Who's there? Hi, it's Tim Hindmarch. Hi. Tim Hindmarch, what's your question? It's to both of you. Have any episodes been broadcast which contain mistakes which the viewers didn't notice? Um, uh -huh. Mistakes that are on. You mean mistakes that have been shown? It's ones yeah. that would have been outtakes but weren't outtakes. But weren't. Sort of <laughs> they they were meanies. They left the meanies. <laughs> yeah. Um, God, I think. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of private jokes that only us, you know, part of the cast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You look back and you remember filming and what happened at the time. Yeah. You know. 
a lot of that goes on, but but Cut I don't think there's much. A real mistake. No, are you a bunch <laughs> of gigglers? Yes. yes. Especially yeah. when you're dealing with a lot of serious issues, which you often are yeah. on mm. Range Hill. Mm. Do you find there's a moment when it gets so serious that because you're acting, you have to have a yeah, giggle? Yeah, you have to break yeah. it. Oh, yeah, yeah you have, you to, have break to. It, so you have a little giggle in it. So yeah. is, is this something we should look out for in the future? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we will. We will. Yeah. Telling, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Thank you Thanks. very much. Um, Alan's got a question now. Where is Alan? Is acting really oh. all glamour and glory? No. no. And kissing and snugging. <laughs> snugging. And giggling. No, there's good, no. there's good parts, there's good sides to it, yeah. Yeah. But then there's bad sides as well, you know, it's rough and smooth. But it's nice. Early it's mornings. Exciting. Yeah, early mornings. Um, Late finishes. Mm. What's the least glamorous thing about the whole job, do you think? Wearing parkas at the wardrobe later, <laughs> I'll give you. <laughs> and, these, and these funny little hats to stop your hair from yeah. getting wet. Yeah. And they shout at you all no. the time and say, you know, don't get your hair wet. And you, you think, why why they being like that? But of course, they've got to be, because you've got to stay dry for the, for the, right, the shot. Yeah. Do you have to wear those plastic rain hoods? Oh, yeah, yeah oh, yeah. The <laughs> they just give them and they take pictures of you on purpose yeah. as well. Yeah. And throw Stick them, them up in the room. Ah, <laughs> those are what we've got to go for, haven't yeah. we? Those are the next thing we've got to go oh. for. We'll find those Polaroids <laughs> and show them. Let's take one more call. Who's there? Line the three, please. Hello? Hello? Oh, I've got, ooh, ooh, I've got two There's people here. here. <laughs> I've got Lucy Gardner up on the screen. Is Lucy Gardner there? Hi. Hi, what's your question? Earlier on you were talking about stage schools. I was wondering which stage schools did you go to and what sort of things did you do there? Um, right. We both went to Italia Conte. Yeah. Yeah. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we both went to Italia Conte. Um, yeah, everything. It's not around. Yeah, they cover, I mean, they cover every aspect of, you know, what you're likely to need in this. Mm. Acting, dancing, yeah. singing. Um, and then your usual lessons as well. Everything. You Is do that a half the sort of day. thing that... Do, are you at stage school, Lucy? Hello? No, I'm not at You're, stage school. Would you like to go? I would, actually, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's good. It's do, good you, do you get off doing the sort of heavier stuff? I don't know, the maths and the science. Do, can, you, can you sort of dot out on those no. a little bit? Um, no, it's, you still not have really. to do them. It's, quite, it's a bit harder because you only get half day to do it. Exactly. So, so you, you get have a lot to do like twice the amount of work yeah. mm. that most kids remember. do. That's what they say, Lucy. <laughs> that's what they say. <laughs> Thanks for that question and good luck. I hope you get to go to stage school if that's where you want to go. Bye-bye. Mm. Right. All we've got time for. Thank you both very, I've got a very set much of for coming in here. this morning. What's your big problem? There you go. Oh, at last. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there you are. Thank you. Thanks. Well, can, I, can I say um, congratulations to my mate Christian and his fiancée Jermaine and, and good luck to them. Thank you. Oh, right. You've done that. Lovely. With a bunch of balloons as well. Excellent. <laughs> Next week on the programme, Going Live is slightly longer. It's hard to believe that we've uh, we finished for this week. Wendy Richards from EastEnders and Grace and Favour will be in. If spots and acne are your problem, next week Dr. Eric Zygman will be getting physical. Music from Opus 3. And news about the SOS Number 1 Awards. Our press conference guest is Sir Peter Imbert, boss of the Metropolitan Police. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good week. Ta-da. Bye. Enjoy the Olympics.